Welcome back to our channel, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had that man that makes the hot dogs wrapped in the bacon, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have him smash it right now. First and foremost, shout out to all the patrons. I love you. You're the heartbeat of this channel. You are what's supporting this. I appreciate you. Thank you. Stay tuned for your well-deserved shout out at the end. This motherfucking episode right here, man. I never do it. I never do it. I rarely do it, right? What's that, Hector? I rarely go and read comments on somebody else's video, all right? This is coming from, uh, but, I mean, I kind of got time on my hands currently. <clears throat> Dubs. Shout out to Dubs. Go check out his channel. Hit that follow, subscribe button. We, uh, we communicate from time to time, right? We bounce ideas off of each other. And it's kind of like on the same line, like intellectual level, like we kind of understand how things operate, how things work inside of a California prison, right? He was there prior to me in the 90s. I was there oh, 2006 to 2022, 20, 16 years. He did a video on how for me to be careful about how dangerous and corrupt the CDCR can be, which is factual. That is factual, okay? I'm not naive to that. So I'm like, ah, I'm going to check out these comments, right? And I, that's something I never really do. Why? Because I don't want to go down a rabbit hole. I don't want to get upset. I don't want to, like, flip out or let it let it um, affect me either which way, right? Whether somebody's giving me praise or somebody's talking shit, right? You can expect both in anything you do. Oh, there I am scrolling. This was a couple days ago, too, or, like, yesterday. So it's like... Uh, Thinking about it, right? Um, I should make a video. I should make a video addressing those comments. And a lot of them were along the lines of, A, hey, he was part of the machine. In other words, Hector was part of the machine, part of the CDCR machine. Hector was, Hector was on the program, right? Hector was... Hector obviously promoted to lieutenant, so he played the game. He was playing the game, right? And then something wrote, somebody wrote like, yeah, he was good with it up until something didn't go his way. Now, is all of that accurate? 100%. 100% accurate. I was, I, was, I was part of the fucking machine, right? I was the machine. The kickback Hector. I don't know how many times I told you, but I was a good soldier, all right? I was a good fucking soldier. Somebody told me to do something, it was going to get done, period. Right? I was like a little fucking torpedo in the beginning. 22 years old, came back from Iraq, had a badge. Did I ever let the badge define me? No, but I understood that I had a role. The role is to be a peacekeeper, right? Uh, my mind was smaller back then, pawn level, pawn. I was, a, I was in the trench, I was in the trenches, right? You can never say that I never worked the housing unit. You can never say that I never worked the yard. You can never say that I never worked Charlie Yard, Level 4, GP, Sentinel State Prison. You can never say I worked, didn't work C6, A5, ADSEG, the whole, right? Because I've been there. You can never say I didn't wasn't in the riots, first in the fucking riots. This is just my demeanor, my behavior, my get down. When I was in the army, I was 18, 19 years old. I was in Iraq, 19 years old. I was always the first person through the door. That's called the number one man. That's probably the most dangerous position because that's who's going to get shot in the fucking face first. But my thought process was, hey, my friends have families, wives, and kids. I don't. I don't give a fuck if I get got. I don't care if I get shot in the face. That's what I'm here for. Right? Boom. That's my personality. Same with the riots. Code 3 riots, blacks versus Mexicans. I mean, you'll probably never see that shit again, ever, because of the peace treaty, right? Oh, no, Hector, it can kick off. Yeah, but it ain't going to fucking kick off like how it used to kick off. Unlike the administration, those inmates actually held up their end of the bargain. They truly did. They truly fucking did, right? They said, hey, no more race riots. No more race riots. That easy. Fucking crazy, but they, they, fuck it. That's cool. Ain't nobody trying to clean up messes. Right? Ain't nobody trying to get involved in that shit. And if you're young and you want action, be careful what you fucking ask for. Be careful what you ask for. That action's going to come. But so is the investigations. So is the assaults, the staff assaults. <clears throat> um, the, uh, the forced overtime. Right? It comes with a headache. It's a mess. 
especially when you had to go get C files up in fucking records by the 300, by 200 C files. Go take the cart. Go, go up in fucking 120 degree weather, Centinella. So, did I play the game? Was I part of the machine? 100 fucking percent. 100 percent. And that's what makes this story that much better, I think. Because I wasn't some fucking lame. <laughs> Contrary, there's this fucking piece of shit. I don't know who it is on there. And I really don't care to know who it is. But this fool, he knows who I am, clearly. And he's always trying to take jabs at me. And I got to I gotta address the crowd. Look where I'm at right now. Look where I'm at right now. Look where I'm going, right? I'm putting myself in probably the most dangerous place on earth, okay? Do you really want to talk shit to me on the internet, okay? Because I'm not playing. I don't fucking play, right? I'm getting angry. I'm shaking because I'm getting angry just thinking about it. Or it could be six cups of chanate or seven that I have inside of my body right now. And the coffee too. I don't play, right? I don't fucking play. I don't toy around. That's like a level four GP yard. You don't play, right? So you think you're going to be cute with me, whoever you are. And I know you're not in shape. You can't be. There's no way, right? There's no fucking way. Like, damn, well, Hector, how far do you want to fucking take it? Well, I'm not going to half step shit with you. I'm not going to half step. What do you want to do? You want to fight? Is that what you want to do? You want to fight? That would require me to slow it down. Oh, this fool just wants to fight. This fool just opened his fucking mouth because he wants to throw hands. Well, I'd rather just fucking destroy and obliterate you, bitch. Like, that's my mentality. Like, we're going to go. We're going to go all the way. What are you doing talking shit? Like, that's, I'm, that's beneath me. For sure, that's beneath me. I just, I don't know. I'm eating up time by just giving you guys that little spill. I'm watching the clock right there, but don't even trip. So, Hector, were you down with the business? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. If a dude, if a dude, if a sergeant told me, hey, bring me this guy, I brought him that guy. If a sergeant said, hey, do this, then he didn't tell me, and I did it anyways, right? Like, why? Because I'm protecting the sergeant. Damn, Hector, you were a good-ass little soldier. I just learned from the army, right? I just learned from the army. Shit has to get done. And the OG convicts that have been in the California Department of Corrections understand that there is a certain way that prison has to be ran internally. Not talking about administration. I'm not talking about rules and policy. I'm talking about there is a certain climate. There is a certain attitude. There is a certain level of respect. I'm getting chills thinking about it. That makes a fucking dangerous prison function. Okay, it's kind of like unwritten rules. Unwritten rules that has to be a certain way. If anybody on any side, green or blue, gets out of pocket, it has to be addressed. It fucking has to be addressed, okay? By violence, hey, it's fucking prison, all right? I think everybody's old, bit grown enough and, and, and to understand this isn't for the faint of fucking heart. Right, you can't be a young CEO running your fucking mouth thinking you're not gonna get addressed. Right, it's not gonna get addressed. At the same time, you can't be a young fucking inmate in blue, popping off at the mouth and not thinking that somebody like me or others are not gonna address that. We're gonna fucking address that. Why? Because we gotta be there for decades, decades, right? On both sides. And this whole thing of like, oh yeah, well you guys get to go home at the end of the day. I never bought into that. I never really, I never believed that. Because we had to bring our bastards right fucking back the, the next fucking day over and over, over, only so we can support our family, only so we can put food on the table. We stop doing that, the food stops going on the table. It's not going to happen. That's not an option. <sighs> so what was the turning point? Oh, Hector, did you ever do anything dirty to somebody that didn't have it coming? <sighs> I'm going to tell you guys a story that I think is fucked up. And I, I feel like I have to be transparent. Because that's not me now. That's not me now. And I think these young CEOs have to understand something. And these are not those times. At all. And, and I find I feel, I feel like a shitbag. I feel like a dirtbag saying it. But I feel like it, it has to be said. Right? Because I don't want to hold it back. Back then, 2007, 8, 9, 10, 2011, fucking pushing 2012 at Centinella, at, at Calipat, at Ironwood. Those were predominantly Sureño Southside heavy institutions, right? They were fucking rolling deep, deep. The climate, the, back then you had the heavy hitters in the shoe, right? And no disrespect to the heavy hitters in the shoe, 
But they were telling the fucking, uh, their soldiers, hey, fucking go all the way. Green light. Go, 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 go. Boom. Kick it off with the blacks. Kick it off with the cops. Boom, boom, boom. Why? Because, and again, no disrespect. They're there. Did they do their time back in the day? 70s, 80s, 90s? Of course they did. But you got to see the climate. The climate was, hey, I'm over here. You do your shit down there. Handle it. Boom, 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 boom. Kicking off like a motherfucker. So a young little CO wearing green jumpsuit, transcon, shitting academy food, a uh, lunch bag from Walmart that never fucking lasted. The zippers always broke. The straps always broke. I had to get one every other month. I should probably invest in fucking lunch bags now that I think of it. Hector Bravo lunch bags. What's up? What's happening? You open it up and go like, what's happening? Chanate time. But, uh. There was gyms. There was gyms that were full of certain races. Only one race. Charlie Gym was full of Mexicans. Period. Delta Gym at this time for this story was Mexicans. Period. I've talked to two people that were in that riot. Inmates. Blue. Since I've been out doing this journey. I was living in San Diego. You guys know I commuted the whole entire time I was working at Sentinella. Living in San Diego and commuting out to Sentinella. It's uh, fucking two hours each way to include getting dressed. In a gym, there's 100 inmates, 100 Mexicans, 100 Sureños. Two, two, two correctional officers on the podium, one up in the gun. The ones in the podium don't have any guns. Pepper spray. A baton, handcuffs and keys, and a radio, and an alarm. I get a call <clears throat> on my cell phone, and it's the female sergeant. She goes, hey, Farrell, can you come in? I say, yeah, what's up? Right, this was prior to my shift. She called me a couple hours prior to the start of my shift. I want to say at the time I was on first to watch, like on rotation type. You're on rotation for like one year or two years. We just had a big staff assault. We just had a big staff assault in Delta Gym. Can you please come and help? I'm like, yeah. Be right there, right? Because I was young. I was a go-getter. This was my fault, right? And like, that was that time frame. I was de dedicated, determined. I thought I stood for something, a cause. And I fucking got dressed. And I drove down early, early to my shift early to help the inmates were still sitting on the yard delta yard this is when it was gp this was when sentinella delta yard was gp they were still in restraints fucking staff everywhere right anybody that's ever been to a big or responded to a big fucking staff assault or big melee big riot is just you guys know what you see you see the inmates all fucking in restraints zip tied you see the look on their faces. You smell the chemical agents. You see the fucking mess everywhere. There's fucking every property everywhere. TVs everywhere. It just a it fucking it's a mess. Like hey, we need to feed these guys. We need to feed them because they didn't eat chow. So what had happened was the whole gym went off on two two COs, right? Staff assault. And now we had to inventory their property. This is when inmates used to go to ADSEG. Inventory their property. And then get them fed. Well, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you guys, man. I was fucking up their personal property. I was fucking up their personal property. Right. And I feel like a shit bag. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say a public apology. I, I'm, I apologize for that. That was wrong. That was fucking wrong then. I shouldn't have done it. I was in the heat of the moment. I, 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 it was, it was, it was what it was. It does not make it okay. Okay. It doesn't. It was my form of my get back, right? For the circumstance, for the environment, for the climate, for my mentality. Like, Hey, I'm not able to put hands on you, right? You guys, 100 of you guys jumped my partner. I can't come over here and beat the fuck out of you right now. Cause that's illegal, but I can destroy your property. Nobody will ever know. And yeah. Yeah. That happened, right? That did happen. That was fucking decades ago. 
there's probably people in blue that can attest like yeah we were involved in a massive fucking staff assault and we got back and all our shit was broke all our shit was fucked up fucked off well, why do we do it why did green do that at that time because quite frankly we couldn't put hands on you right does that happen yeah some allegedly sometimes maybe i wasn't there right but Prison's a fucked up place, man. It's a fucked up negative environment. And I don't even I don't even like it. Like, since I've been out one year and, and seven months, I don't like prison. I don't like the environment. It breeds negativity. It breeds it it fosters violence. It breeds hatred. Um You know. It, it it's not fucking it's not a fundamental place for growth at all. And that's not even including the politics from administration. That's just the environment, okay? Now, with that being said, what changed, Hector? What changed? Well, what changed, and it's unfortunate that this had to happen, but I'm glad it happened because I was able to, to, to see the, the truth. At one point in time, the administration used to protect the, the cops. They used to protect the cops, meaning... You guys are going to be all right. We understand this prison, the environment's fucked up. They do what they do. You do what you do. At the end of the day, it's a wash, right? That's when prison made sense. For those that remember when prison used to make sense. <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't, I'm not going to say it wasn't fun. It wasn't ideal, but it, 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 it was a system that worked for prison. And then it fucking, everything changed. Everything changed. Everything got turned upside down on its fucking head. All of a sudden, the administration started burning staff and accusing them of doing something when the staff were not doing it and they were in turn doing it, okay? That is when, when it became unethical, right? When you're saying, telling me to do something, I do it, then you're going back on your word and saying, oh, I never told you that. That's what we used to call amnesia. Oh, that motherfucker got amnesia. All that fool got amnesia all of a sudden. And that was that turning point. That was 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. These fucking administrators, managers, all of a sudden, oh, you didn't ask me to do that? That's funny because I got it documented right here. Next thing you know, you're getting fucked. That's when we had to learn as CEOs, we have to protect ourselves against these motherfuckers. Fuck the inmates. The inmates are the easy part now. That's not, the inmates are not even, you know what I mean, an issue at this point. It's the administration. It even made me feel like a rat or made us feel like, hey, we shouldn't be documenting. We shouldn't be putting pen to paper. That's not our style. We handle shit. We talk to people. But no, they were, the administration was getting grimy with it, dis disgusting with it. And at this point, the inmates were not even acting like that. They were still keeping it real. <laughs> They'll tell you to fuck off to your fucking face. And then all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. They started mixing the GPs with the SNY, okay? Uh, that's a net. You're going to get some, I'm going to say you're going to get somebody killed. Clearly, you're, you, they got people killed, right? They got people fucked off. They, yeah, they got people killed. There's there's plenty of uh, examples right there. <laughs> so how did I make it to lieutenant? By not talking back, by not talking back, initially, I would fight a silent fight. I would probably, I would tell the managers to their face, like just give them a nod, like I was in agreement. I would go back to my fucking unit or wherever the fuck I was at and do do what I was going to do anyways. Um, so I played the game. Did I have ever have ill intentions? Nah, I didn't. I wasn't there to give the inmates a hard time. They know I've seen inmates tattoo. Just look at them like, hey, what the fuck, man? I'm doing my count. Have some respect. Have it, I've had inmates drink Super Bowl. Some inmates may need to fucking fight when they're drunk. Hey, uh, hey, hey, ACO, can we get a? Can we? Can we handle this real quick? I'm gonna go over here, man. All right, good looking out. I'm not saying that I did or didn't do that, but I'm just saying, like, wasn't there to bust a grape. <sighs> wasn't there to put people under my thumb. That's never been my fucking style. 
and it's really it's really no different than the blue side it's really no different than when you're a, a, a gang member and you gave your whole fucking life to a cause and you realize that the cause is not what you had expected it, that's exactly what it's like okay in a nutshell that's the answer the answer is was i part of the machine yeah did i promote up the ranks yeah at some point in time did things become absolutely fucking disgusting they still are it's getting worse did i sacrifice myself my career to air out the truth yeah dude like for sure look at that shit you got oia sending fucking subpoenas fake subpoenas Homemade subpoenas to Google to try to get information. What the fuck? Shady ass motherfuckers. You want to know why? You think that the fucking... It's, it's almost like they put a green light on me, right? It's almost like they put a green light and they're trying to take me out. I see for what it is. Am I tripping? Nah, because I'm in fucking Japan right now. You see? This motherfucking episode was sponsored by the following patrons. 949 Desmadrosos, Menace to Society, Big Sleepy on America's Cup of Coffee, Leche de Mipalo, Christian. She looks a little bow-legged to me. Chris Lesniak, Nisi B. I don't know, I'm not the regular. A La Verga 209, Brian the Lone Specialist, Westminster OC, S. Big Shag, Semper Fidelis, we do as they tell us. I got a Chonguito Crono, the homie Turtle 13, Mark, Darlene from Santa Ana, F your mandates, write me up. VSP Yeti, Sabatino, Adalberto, Ken84, any reason I can't hold you, Fontaine, Dixon, McCrary, Nasty Nick, the Corcoran, Kevin, Program Time, Hacktivate 213, JCat, hey, I'm just medical, Brianna, Carnalito, Treatment Not Time, and Force Fit, Outdoor Versity, don't fart on my pillow, don't take my blue card, Sergeant, GG, 11 Bravo, give me that double shift, Don Chicharo, What's up, Don Chicharo? Shut the F up and make it wink. A la verga, 760. Miss Scorpio Rising. Miss Rod. Geo. G Ride. Vote News come out. The Prison Psychologist. Fuerte 84. Zeus. Michigan Wolverines. I have an eight hour chrono. Put me out 6L. Shut up and call me Papi. A wall like Monty. One bad yard pedal. Cherokee Cat. 10. Be advised. Your order is ready at the PK. <laughs> Homie, we say paperwork. Your paperwork's at the plaza. Come pick it up. Loco Moco, the Big Bad Wolf, Raider 62, L. Eli Gerardo, Rigo Esti, Pelon, not on my watch. Who's doing the pipe? Denise, the real McCoy, not the fake McCoy. Jay, a pogan, a six pack. Key, Devil Dog, Ricardo, Maladjusted, Ragtop 5.0, Johnny Cash, I like that. American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, CJ Zavalda, the homie, EOP Whisper, Fuck Your 602, Las Vegas Fly Fly, Viva Mexico Cabrones, Internal Affairs Can Choke on Pubic Hairs. Facts. Prius these nuts, lockdown five, Crystal Bond, La Reina, the homie Nano, Winston, Tony, fuck your directive, get the team, El Skid, the OG Hobie Cat, lead with love, Elbert 12, onto page three, Lieutenant, you got your CDCR, you got CDCR shaking in their tidy whities facts with skid marks, J.I. Esquiel, Big Bad 48, the homie Nova, Linda, we love you Linda, good to see you, good morning, top of the morning to you Linda, she's been riding since day one. The retired CO, true blessing in disguise. The homie Marius from Connecticut, Chevelle 66, Crispy Nuts, Bad Karma, and the homie Rags. If you have not already signed up for the Patreon, and a lot of people have been asking, Hector, how can we can support you? How can we support the mission? How can we support the cause to keep you going? Signing up for the Patreon is one of those ways, okay? Make sure you hit the link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. Keep pushing forward. I love you.